Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to download and install Android Studio and as well I will also be showing you how to download and install Java JDK and set up Java in Android Studio and create your first Android app. So let's get started. So first let's begin with downloading Android Studio. So for that just go to Google and type download Android Studio and if you just scroll down you will be having this download Android Studio and app tools. Just click that. So let me just click on download Android Studio. So it will ask you like the terms and conditions. Just click on agree and download. So this will also take some time. It is about 900 MB in size. So once the download is complete, just click on open. So just click on yes. And you'll be getting the Android Studio setup. Just click on next. And yeah, just check this as well. Android Studio and Android Virtual Device. This is also really, really important. So just check it and click on next. This is going to be the default location. I am fine with this. And I will click next. Android Studio. Yeah. And I will click install. So it's going to be a pretty much straightforward installation. And click next now. And just click on start Android Studio and click on finish. So you will be getting the import Android Studio settings. Just click on do not import settings and click on OK. And just click on next. OK, don't send. That's fine. I will click next. Type of setup you want for Android Studio. Just click on standard and click next. So this is like the light and the dark mode. I will go with just the dark mode itself and I will click next. So these are going to be some of the components that are going to be installed. We have Android emulator. I think that is the most important thing out of all. So this is fine. I will just click on next and this is some of the license agreement that we need to do. So just click here and click on accept. After that you need to click on this Intel Android and as well click on accept and click on finish. So now I will, it will take a long time to download all the necessary components. So just be patient. So once all the necessary components are downloaded, just click on finish. So once you are done installing Android Studio, you will be getting an interface like this. But before creating a new Android project, let's first go and download and install Java. So just go to Google and type Java JDK download and you will be getting the first link as Java downloads. Just click that. It is from oracle.com and here we will be having Java 20 and Java 17 and Java 20 is the latest version of Java, the latest JDK version. So you can just go here, scroll down, you'll be having it for different operating systems. We are going to download it for Windows. Just click on Windows and here you will be having MSI installer. So just click on that. So it is about 158 MB in size. So just be patient till that. So once the download is complete, just click on open. You need to click on next and you can just change the location if you want to. The default is fine for me. So I'll just click on next. So the installation will begin. That's it. So once the installation is complete, you will be getting this successfully installed message. Just click on close. So now we need to add our Java path to the environment variables. All right. So just go to the folder where you have installed Java. So by default, it's going to be C program files, Java JDK 20, and you'll be having this bin thing. So you need to copy the till bin folder, just control C, just go to search and type environment you'll be getting the edit the system environment variables option just click on open and in this you'll be having here environment variables click that and under system variables just click on path edit you need to click on new and you need to just paste this all right you need to have till bin folder and just click on okay everywhere now just open your command prompt just zoom it so we need to run the command java hyphen hyphen version and hit enter. So here you can see that I'm getting Java 20, which is the latest version of Java that we have installed right now. So you'll be getting this message if you have done the installation process in a perfect way. So in case we aren't getting this, you must have made a mistake in the path. So just try checking that path. So now we have successfully installed Java. So now let's go and create our first Android app. So let's just open Android Studio. So just open it. And here we'll be having this new project. Okay. Click that. 
and let me just go with the basic activity okay just click next so these are the details that we need to give before creating our first android project first let's begin with the name i will just name this as first project in camel cases and automatically you'll be getting the package name and this is the location if you want to change the location you can just browse and change this that's totally up to you and the most important thing is that language here we are not going to use kotlin here we are going to use java so make sure that you change it over here and this is the minimum api uh, sdk version this is absolutely fine and this is you can just leave it okay and i'll just click on finish so we will be getting our first android project and it will take some time generally because this is the first time we are loading it right so initially it will take some time to load yeah these are the tips you can just click on next tip and you can just you know close it at the end so gradle's project sync in progress so you need to wait till gradle build model completes okay so once the gradle indexing is done here you won't be having any progress bar kind of thing so we will be having our main activity.java this is like a boilerplate code that android studio by default generates us every time we create a new project so if i go into this res folder and under java we will be having this okay under java we will be having main activity.java and we need to go to res and under that you will be having layout and, and here you will be having activity main.xml file so this is the corresponding xml file for this main activity okay so in android studio we will be having xml as well as java file so xml is basically used to create like the interface and you will just map that with java code okay so it's a combination of both so this is also a basic template that android studio creates automatically so now let's see how we can run this particular app in our emulator so for this just go here here you'll be having something called as device manager all right select that and here you will be having virtual and physical you need to go to virtual and you need to click on create device and you need to select phone or tablet depending upon your use case i will select phone and let me go with pixel 4 and you need to select that and you need to click on next and here you need to select the required android version okay so these are basically android we have the android oreo pi q so here you will be having a download icon so you just click on this and wait till the download gets completed so once it is done you can just click on finish so i'll be going with r if you want you can download anything so i'll just go with this r thing and just click on next and after this you have the landscape or portrait you can even name your device so i am fine with this default options i'll just click on finish so once you're done your device will be appearing over here and you'll be also getting that particular device name here all right you'll be having it in the run thing over here so we need to select that device just go here you need to click that device and you need to click on this run app So it will take some time if you are running it for the first time. So here you can see my device is now starting and it will take some time to load. So it is Google Pixel 4, the one which we downloaded earlier. And here you can see we are getting this app right over here. Hello first fragment next, we will be getting that over here and I am getting a pop-up message saying launch, launch succeeded. So this is basically how you download and install Android Studio and set up Java and run your fast Android app in emulator. So I hope you would have found this video useful. Do check the playlist of my channel. I've done a lot of programming videos by using C, C++, Java, Python, Node.js, React.js, MongoDB, MySQL and Spring Boot CRUD operations. Check them out. Subscribe me. Thanks for watching.